Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of February 21st, 2022. We get four stories for you this week. The first one is Joby EV Tall had a bit of a mishap during uh, some of the testing. We'll talk about the FAA inspectors that want to certify every single 787 that comes out of the Boeing plant. Uh, we had uh, unfortunately three helicopter crashes this week alone that were caught on camera. And then last, we'll talk about an EV Tall called the Auto Flight Prosperity. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is Joby EV Tall. Uh, they had a prototype, they were doing some testing, uh, get into an accident uh, during the flight testing. Now, I do want to mention this. Uh, I, I'm very supportive of what Joby is doing and I don't want you guys to take this as, well, this aircraft is, is not safe or anything. Uh, these things are things that happen. They're in the testing phase. They're going to push this uh, the envelope of that aircraft to see what it's capable of doing or not doing. Uh, the good news is this was remotely piloted because, well, they were doing testing and pushing the envelope. So. Uh, uh, I think it's actually somewhat of a good thing that they're able to find these um, these uh, kinks and, and resolve them by uh, doing this in a testing environment. So if you want more information, there's unfortunately not a whole lot more detail about this, uh, but you can find uh, an article from AvWeb that talks exactly about this. The next thing this week is kind of an ongoing saga with uh, things that we've talked about before with the FAA and Airbus and what happened with the uh, 737 MAX. Uh, as a result of all of this, uh, the FAA administrator has said that Boeing is going to be um, uh, inspecting every single 787 and each FAA inspector is going to rubber stamp that aircraft as it comes out of the factory. Uh, the uh, FAA administrator has said that uh, Boeing still needs to fix what they call a systemic uh, fixed to their production processes. Um, if you want more information about this, I actually just watched a documentary on Netflix that uh, provides a lot of information behind what happened with the 737 MAX, where the failures of Boeing actually were, and, uh, and they want to make sure, the FAA wants to make sure that uh, every single bit of that aircraft is safe to fly uh, before it goes on the line and, and flying people around. So uh, again, uh, head over to AvWeb, also go on Netflix. I don't remember the name of the, the documentary, but it's pretty easy to find uh, if you type Boeing and FAA somewhere uh, in the search box. Okay, the next thing, not such a great news. Uh, we had three helicopter crashes this week. Uh, two of them were, uh, one of them, unfortunately, where there was a fatality. Uh, the first one was in Florida. Uh, the helicopter crashed into uh, a surf near swimmers. There's actually a video of that you can see playing. Uh, both of the passengers were transported. They survived. They had uh, broken backs, it looks like. Uh, the second one was in California. And unfortunately, this one resulted in one of the passengers being killed. Now, this was a helicopter from a police department. They crashed, uh, it looked like they had a mechanical issue and then crashed into a marina area. Uh, we're not going to show you the video, just out of respect for uh, the families of the victims. Um, the last one was in Utah. This just basically came out when we were about to record. Uh, this was two Black Hawks from the National Guard that get caught uh, in the snow. They were doing some kind of, uh, of a mission. And then one of them, it looks like, hit something on the ground. Uh, and then parts of the helicopter went out and hit the second one, uh, uh, causing both of them to go down. The good news is nobody was injured in this case. Uh, they were pretty close to the ground. They landed in the snow. Uh, but uh, not a really good week for helicopters um, in this case. The last story this week is the Auto Flight Prosperity. This is an EV tall electronic uh, electric vertical and takeoff and landing aircraft, and they have a completed their first proof of concept flight. Uh, this is a test flight. It uh, involved a transition from vertical flight all the way to horizontal flight, and then came back. Uh, this is an aircraft that uh, the company is hoping to certify in Europe by 2025. This is a Chinese company. Uh, you can see more information and more uh, of, uh, photos and visuals of of that aircraft. So that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and then we'll see you guys next week.